spying on close friends and partners is totally unacceptable. Law abiders or criminals. There are only objects of surveillance. Surveillance technologies have developed so quickly uh, and democratic controls uh, have been much too slow. Welcome back. You're watching RT International. Protesters in the Austrian Alps have braved hefty fines and the threat of a jail sentence to show their anger at a gathering of the world elite. Security has been tight with more than 2,000 police deployed to protect the politicians, bankers and business leaders known as the Bilderberg Group. With little press interest and media blackout anyway, RT's Peter Oliver got as close as he could to the gathering. This is the checkpoint leading up to the hotel where the meeting is taking place. This is roughly about as, as close as I can get just across this road. While there's absolutely no access whatsoever to the hotel right now, I was able to speak to a man who got in there before the security net fell. Luke, you were inside the hotel. What is it like in there? It was like The Shining. It was like the haunted house on the hill. It was like this amazing luxury, this amazing kind of decadent crap that you don't really need. But then everyone in the staff and everyone in the security was running around miserable. They were so just anxious and depressed. It was really just a surreal feeling to be in there. And you could just feel the kind of anxiety, that kind of energy in the air. And it wasn't good in any way, shape or form. What was it like in terms of security? Uh, security in the hotel was extremely tight. I mean, they were on us as soon as we got out of the hotel room. We were interrogated. We went through background checks. They took our passports. They asked us from what we ate in the morning to what, what our next plans are in the next 10 years. So it was really, really intense. It's even more extreme outside with journalists being interrogated. We're being harassed. We're being followed. We're, people are being taken back to their rooms and warned of huge fines for even just being in this area. So it's insane. All the high-profile guests at the Bilderberg meeting include the likes of NATO Secretary General and the UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer. They are accompanied by representatives of media giants like the BBC, along with banks and many other household names like Shell and Google. Topics for discussion, according to the group's official webpage, range from cybersecurity to the world's economic problems and terrorism, and that's the issues that affect most of us. But despite that, the gathering has gone largely unreported by the mainstream media. Investigative journalist Tony Goslin explains the possible reasons. The reason that the journalists don't go often is because their bosses are in there and sworn to secrecy. Of course, you're not going to upset your boss by trying to break their vow of silence. Uh, and we've got, uh, I think it's around about 20, 22 media barons in there, I would call them. Uh, these are uh, generally controlled private media corporations. They're either the senior editors, managers or owners of the big media corporations and they're actually the fourth largest contingent at Bilderberg so they're not far behind the bankers and the politicians and the owners of big industry but I mean essentially media nowadays has become just something you can buy and sell now, reports of multiple ceasefire violations in East Ukraine have kept them coming throughout the week with residential areas repeatedly caught in shelling. In the most recent attack, a woman was killed in the Lugansk region. And on Thursday, the week's most deadly shelling on the town of Gorlovka left another three people dead. Ilya Petranko visited the apartment block where the mortars hit. <laughs> People here are trying to assess the aftermath. There were direct hits into two apartments here. Uh, in this building alone, three people died, and uh, the scenes here are very emotional. This man over here is going to show us what all this destruction looks like from the inside of the apartment block. As you can see, this is the bedroom. This is the hole in the wall where the shell landed. This is the kitchen of the apartment that suffered most. Over here, you can see a huge hole in the wall. 
как говорят, надо прятаться в коридоре. Света погибла в коридоре. Тетя Света погибла тоже в коридоре. Это наша казначей. Напротив тоже четвертый этаж. Погибла Виточка. There's a major cleanup going on here, of course, in this neighborhood, but at this point it looks like it's going to be impossible to bring this area back to normal. I've just arrived at the Gorlovka Hospital where the injured kids are being treated. Uh, this is the door through which they were brought in. There are still fresh blood stains on the floor. I'm going to talk to the doctors. Well, practically every day. Не только не то, что в наше отделение, другие отделения привозят пострадавших после обстрела. Очень трагично и грустно и печально, когда происходит, то есть просто гибель мирного населения. Transethnicity debate has divided the online community. After it's revealed an American civil rights activist pretended to be black for almost a decade. More on that at RT.com. Plus. Feel the power of a lightning strike at Moscow's Open Air Science and Technology Festival. See the best bits of the spectacular two-day Tesla show at the website of our video news agency, Roughly. Videos of police violence across the U.S. are appearing on the web on a regular basis, with everyone carrying smartphones these days. Passers-by are able to film officers' actions and share them with the world. Marita Portnaya tells you what you need to know about recording law enforcement. Videos depicting police brutality in America are flooding the Internet and igniting outrage around the world. In many cases, officers aren't happy about being recorded by the citizens they've promised to serve and protect. Stop recording me. Am I giving you permission to record me? I didn't know I had to have permission to record yeah, anything. It's against the law to record without a permit, sir. It is? Yes, sir. Hand up. Kill you. Get back. Hand up. Get back. Leave. Leave. So I can't film no, leave. Why can't I film leave, because it's a current investigation and you're leaving. I, I'm That's why. Put it, Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. You're under arrest. In every incident you just saw, experts say citizens were being illegally harassed, threatened or detained by cops. Far too many police officers do not understand or respect the Constitution that they've all taken an, an oath to uphold. Mickey Osterreicher is the general counsel for the National Press Photographers Association. He's dedicated his life to protecting the First Amendment, and here's what he says every American should know about filming the police. Under the First Amendment, uh, both citizens and journalists have a right to photograph and record anything that they see in, in public. If you're out in public, they can't tell you to turn off the camera. And they have to give you um, a reasonable direction as to where you can stand so you can see and observe them. It's only a crime in certain places, and those need to be posted. Let's say you're near a military facility or a nuclear power plant or some type of government uh, uh, post. There usually are postings that put people on notice that you can't use your cameras. If they haven't issued an order to disperse, in, during a protest, for example, then you have every right to remain there and photograph and record as long as you're not physically interfering with them or other emergency responders doing uh, their job. Whether you're taking pictures or filming video, the Department of Justice says explicitly that under the First Amendment, there are no circumstances under which the contents of your device could be deleted or destroyed. But even if citizens know the law, if officers don't enforce it, experts say it won't make much of a difference. Reporting from New York, Marina Portnaya, RT. And I'll be back at the top of the hour with more. Don't go away.